Right, welcome back to video 5 on the PET 2025 for grade 10. I hope you're enjoying the videos, guys, and I hope that I'm helping you understand this PET so that you can reach top marks. Okay, I'm busy on page 12 um, on the learner instruction guide or the learner guide for the PET, and I am about to start the actual PET, um, the building and designing and collecting information so this is really important coming forward all right so they've just given us on page 12 the instructions for the phase so let's just go through these instructions again just to make sure we are aware of what we need to do number one you had to get the focus or your topic research for your investigation right and we've read through that we've gone through that so i'm afraid of that if you don't go back to the previous videos please very important um, if you uh, don't understand the topic and the research. We know where to find information now. And now we can go about finding information, either using the links from the resource pack and the videos that we provided to look through, and then obviously our questions. Yeah, they are our research questions. We have to have a total of eight of these, okay? And depending on which um, focus area you've picked um, you're going to take five there and add three or two of your own but the minimum is two of your own questions which totals eight okay for the research right um, how the use of technology impacts negatively sometimes on our environment okay um, and I pardon me saying sometimes but in certain cases it definitely is positive for our environment but there's always a negative to the positive okay um, on us humans and how we can manage this all right so that's what the main topic is about there that's this negativity with technology and how it does help us the technology but it also does not serve our environment well select six questions uh, here it is here again just what i've repeated up here uh, from the focus area uh, you decide upon and at least two additional now at least so um, i saw one section with only five questions so you'll naturally have to add in three then find the answers to all your research questions and there again if you don't mind guys i want to remind you that when you're doing your research please consider sorry i'm just moving my mic a little bit that i can type um, the web uh, to pdf um, that will allow you to make a copy of the website that you can store it later on um, in under your resources folder and we can do links to those um, within our bibliography and um, things like that. So I think it's really important to consider that this is a website that we can use. I just want to put a little asterisk there. That is a website that we can use called web to pdf and then we will save those from our downloads folder into our resources links. Okay, awesome. All right, now we can finally move on. Great. So let's see what it says. Right, first things first, they want you to create a suitable folder. Okay, now, it sounds so simple, but so many learners get this part actually wrong. Um, they, they don't do the folder correctly, and then that lands up giving its own set of problems um, where the teacher cannot find your work, we don't know where it's stored, and then you'll lose marks. Okay, your educator will give you a date for this, um, shouldn't take too long to do this, but as you carry on with the pet, try and put in some completion dates here for yourself that you know what you're at. Also, I'm going to say Mr. Long has got a lovely pet planning uh, worksheet um, with dates and everything split down. That might be something nice um, to incorporate within your pet. I know I'm going to give mine uh, to my learners and um, they can definitely use that to help with planning. All right, so it says here, create a folder structure for your pet, similar to the one shown below. You will save the documents in these folders as indicated on the right of the folders below. Okay, right, so you can see what they want you to do, guys. We're gonna have a phase one and a phase two. Right, within the phase one, we're gonna have another folder called planning document 
and then another folder called research. Then under phase two, we're going to have a final planning document and a presentation folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and build that. All right, so guys, I'm just going to move over my window here and um, we can build this that they require. Okay, now again, your teacher might have different specs. Some of you guys have got servers um, and you're saving to a Z drive. That's in our case, we've got a server and they can save there. That means I can go and collect everything. Um, but I think for now, I'm gonna work on the desktop and then we can always copy to the server or wherever your educator tells you they want the pet. All right, so let's have a look and see, right? So let's go for right click on your desktop and let's go new and I'm gonna go for a folder. Okay, and there it is, guys. There's the folder. Now, there's many ways of doing it. It's up to you. I'm just giving you the basics here. So, please, there's three or four ways of doing and creating folders and whatever. Um, I think I'm just sticking that a person who is uh, maybe not so proficient with, with the pet and the cat, um, that they can get along to actually do this. Okay, right, so I've got a new folder and I'm going to call this, first of all, I tell my learners I would like your name. Okay, name is important. So, um, your full name, all right, doesn't have to be your double barrel names, just so that the teacher can identify you. Very, very important. Okay, then my surname. Okay, all right, there it is. Then my grade, I'm in grade 10. Right, and sometimes even a key. Um, if you are, if you're a big group, you might be split into keys or different classes of cat learners. Okay, so I'm going to go for key one here because we got a big group of grade tens, and then what this is. Okay, so this is the pet 2025. Okay, that makes sense to any educator or any moderator that they can see, I've got the learner's name, they're in grade 10, what the key is. So it's the first, the second or third key, and this is the PAT folder that they're busy with. Right, when you're happy with that, you can click off. Okay, now we've created the outer shell of this. All right, and there is the folder. Okay, now we're gonna go into this folder and we are going to build the other folders and make sure that this is all there and ready to go when we start putting work inside there. So everything gets saved into your pet folder and guys, you don't put stuff outside of the pet folder because then your teacher cannot find it. They cannot mark it, okay? Right, so we've got, first of all, looking at the hierarchy here, we've got phase one and phase two. So let's go and create that one. Right, so over here, right click and uh, sorry, I've got a, my uh, recorder in the way file new folder right and we're going to go create a phase one there we go right easy or else you can use this one here new folder okay and we're going to create phase two beautiful so we've got phase one there it is there and we've got phase two phase one phase two Okay, I wonder if this thing will allow me to be kind and just say, I've got that one and I've got that one so far. Great. Now you can see there's this little indent here, which means that that is, these are folders within that folder. Can you see the little indent there, guys? All right. So those are folders within that folder. Okay. Right, so let's go back here and we can see we need to go into phase one and create the folder inside phase one. Okay, so let's go new again, new folder, and we're going to go for planning document. Right, great, got it in. Click to save or click to accept. Um, the name of that document, great. Next one. Right, so can I take this one off? Yes. 
I can take this guy off. Right, and now I need one called research. Right, so plus folder research. Check your spelling, please, guys. And as I mag work, as you Afrikaans is, then uh, maybe give your underwriter for your um, other um, headings what you must use on opschriften. Um, and then you have to use it for the RTT rekenaar um, rekenaar leaders. Um, so yeah, guys, sorry, my Afrikaans is not of the best, but I can get through there. All right, uh, I'm sure you're having a good laugh at my stutter there, but all right, good. So I have got under phase one, I've got a planning document and I've got a research document. Right, so I'm going to go up a bit. Right, now let's go into phase two and we're going to now create these two. Okay, a folder, new folder. And it is called Final Planning Document. So something must go in there. All right, oh, can I just fix up my capital letter in the front? Final Planning Document, there it is. And the last one is the presentation. Presentation. Okay. And guys, wow, isn't that nice? It's nicely laid out, if I may. Yeah, I can see the learner's name and surname. I can see your name and surname as the teacher. If I double click it, I can see phase one and phase two. Within phase one, I can see those categories or folders. Planning documents should be in there in the research. Okay, let's go back. Phase two, I can see the final planning document and the presentation. Great, guys. And there's marks attached to that. So if you do this correctly, you are already getting lovely, lovely marks. Okay, so please get that correct, check it, um, make sure that that is right before we go on to the next phase. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you now, now back again.